Okay, we're working on the Dingo TX-1000 again. Um, this time what we're doing is uh, we're adding on a uh, fuse, 10 amp fuse to the alternator. Um, I think the alternator is shorting out when the unit heats up. So we got a, uh, a fuse <coughs> and then um, I basically uh, connected a wire which goes down to the alternator which comes over to here, let's see here, and I put the uh, red spade on the back of the alternator and the orange uh, wire, which is connecting up in here to the black wire now, um, uh, connecting them together will allow you to see if the fuse blows going down to the alternator, which is, right now I've got a ton of amper in there. And then the uh, the other fuse, which is over here. If you look to the left side, I put a 15 amp fuse in there, a little larger than the 10 amp. And um, when the unit heats up, we're going to see if the 15 amp fuse stays intact. And then this new fuse that was added uh, over here. Um, that's a 10 amp fuse um, if, if that one pops and the 15 amp one stays intact uh, but what happens is uh, I believe the alternator is heating up and it blows that 15 amp fuse inside and when that happens all the power to the uh, control display goes away and the unit won't run um, right now if I basically uh, take this fuse out here uh, which base it will allow the uh, alternator not to try to regulate um, and turn on and at that point uh, the unit won't shut off if this fuse right here blows but the unit will stay running um, until you can uh, put a, a, a fuse replacement in there but the point of doing this is just to see which fuses are blowing where um, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to be the fuse that blows and that will mean the um, alternator needs to be replaced. So stay tuned to learn more on that front.